Sargento donates $500 to Milwaukee's Habitat for Humanity. Thanks to Sargento, tip-off for Holmes program. It was partially blocked. The first possession already, you could just tell Orlando's coming out wanting to be felt, not make it easy, but great job by Brooke. Bancaro, the mid-range jumper. 30 central here today. And a huge credit to the league, I think, for doing it that way. They're continuing to try to find ways to make. There's a make. Dame Lillard Orlando come out, wanting to play some big-time defense. We saw Van Carroll's mouth guard fall out. It's on the floor. Bobby's about to step on it. Doesn't matter. <laughs> the buckets as easily, and really who these teams both are offensively is showing, I think, in this first few minutes. Wagner gets rejected by He's going to play. He's also got to be smart with his career, but there's no question. It makes fans a little uneasy, but... Pancaro takes the contact. You just know James' biggest games, he's getting that line, so it's good to see him early. Also seeing the ball go through early. And the tip-in is good. If he got to it with the ball still in the cylinder, they'll count it. And a 12 to 7 score. Here's Brooke Lopez, fires from three. And Orlando on the push after the takeaway. Bancaro steps right behind that three-point line and throws. Eight of the first ten points here for Orlando. Meanwhile, Franz Wagner hasn't hit a shot. He's 0 for 5. Coming off the bench here today. Well, and it's really, it's like a mature energy lineup. Nice take by Dave. Oh, the follow from Brooke Lopez. Game. The Bucks would be the two seed to play the winner of that 7-8 matchup, which at the coming into today would be the Sixers and the Heat. We know that's going to be. gives, and that's what he was saying. We were talking at lunch, and he said, look, i got to do whatever the team needs. If that's what the defense takes away, that's what I'll do. Van Caro with the flush. Connaughton, uh, you see down here. Gabby gives it up. Good ball movement. Working it around the perimeter to find Jay Crowder. It'll be Chris and Bobby here on the left side. The Two-player game gives it right back to Chris, who drives, penetrates. Isaac gets him. Anthony crosses over, tries to get one on Pat, who closes hard. Disruptor, but the stats are proven it. Five steals. You mentioned the six deflections on Wednesday. He's already got two steals here today. Bobby launches from three. And Carroll tries to look it off. Pass deflected by Chris. Franz Wagner kicks it out. Jonathan Isaac for three. His so intensity dramatic, is up. The, the atmosphere is up. <laughs> The defense has got to be up here for the box because here comes the magic. Middleton crosses it over. Isaac again gets up. Bancaro on the push. He's not making shots. I think Dame and this team, they realize he's got to make shots for this team to be at their best. Wagner going off the bounce baseline. Magic on a 17-3 run here to close out the second quarter. Looking to add to their three-point edge. Wagner makes it a five-point edge. Boy, Brooke Lopez down there tangled up with Suggs, and you can tell these guys just playing with a little chippiness and saying, forget it, we're going to fight, we're going to make it. Uh-oh. Stop by Gary Harris. The ball is loose. Brooke dives for it. Here comes Van Caro up against Dane. Chris Middleton kicks it out. Bobby's weak. Kicks the three-pointer. Ball to handle and to be thrown it away. Obviously, Pat Bev's got to handle it without getting stolen. Chris got to be able to handle without those turnovers. Wagner. The more and more real it becomes at the possibility of this matchup. Chris with the miss right there. There you go. Brooke, look what I found. Left it's hand. not. And will it be their defense? Orlando's it has been so far, but not a game to play. Dame behind the back, finds it, and it drops. Two of seven now shooting, though, from three-point territory. Here comes Chris, up against Wagner. He wants this matchup. Chris will take it. Thank you very much for the Milwaukee Bucks, the ninth game that he's missed here this season. Sucks with the triple tie to air ball. Wendell Carter Jr., though. Carter Jr. is. He played minimal time in the last game on Friday. Franz Wagner picks the pocket of Bobby Portis. Would have to win as well, would be the other piece of that equation. Cleveland is up against Charlotte. Three pointers, good. One that means so much to Orlando and Milwaukee, obviously, this team to see some of that offense go. I think to turn that energy up here and quiet the building down. Bench 19 to 7. Zone defense here for Milwaukee. Uh-oh. 
curious to see, obviously, what Orlando does, but closing this quarter out with a couple good possessions. Jay Crowder gives the box up the NBA here this year. Nine point deficit is nothing compared to what they have come back from, but they got to shut up those teams. The Bucks, the Knicks, the Cavs all lose today. The Bucks would still wrap up the two seed. Not the way you want to get it. But Ten. So the Bucks, if these results hold, the Bucks are at least a three seed. Here's Franz Wagner with the flush. And almost same play, same result, different at the sidelines. Chris Middleton. Go right, but it's got to start with shot making. No question whether it's open or tough. You just got to find a way to make it. Chris Middleton getting one. And Cole Anthony coming off that. Look at that defense. I mean, the defense by the Magic has been impressive. Takeaways, deflections. Joe Ingles. Inside seven minutes left to play. Anthony, the magic, pouring it on. The regular rotation players, meanwhile, coming out of that timeout for Orlando, still in this game. Marjan Bochamp, good back door. Excitement towards the end of the year. To have this lineup with seven minutes left in the game and for there to be the buildup and the suspense and everybody watching, I think, Wagner knocking that one down. Really has been and still continues to be as we're still doing some scoreboard watching. Yeah, we're definitely doing scoreboard watching of, of other games. Marjan Bochamp, the two-pointer. I know it's the opponent, but this is really an exciting time for Orlando. And Jamal Mosley and year number three as the head coach to get back to the playoffs. Caleb Houston of Houston, the Wagner brothers. Uh-huh. I suppose if you're, if you got the scouts there already watching one guy, you might as well watch all of them. <laughs> yeah, it's a, a pretty good team. You know you got Dame, those guys are feeling good. I mean, pick a team, put them in front of the Bucks, and you know you're going to feel pretty good about that. Nice little floater there by Ty Ty. As we're, that'll be after we scoreboard watch. We're trying to choose who wants to take it. Black will do the duty. 30 points and over a 60% field goal percentage. This 54 in his 64 point game. You just, you realize there's been some amazing things and I hope that's some of that momentum. There you go, Thanasis. And what does matter is keeping an eye on this. Bucks fans for the number two seed. We need the Knicks to lose this game here to the Bulls. 